I'm going to show you how to make a little hidden text reveal on Google Slides. Um, I saw this on Twitter a few days ago using Seesaw, and I got a couple questions asking how to do it in Google Slides. It's super easy, um, and it works about the same way, so you can use this in any Google Slides activity. The first step is to make or insert a shape. Any shape will work, and just um, choose the color, your fill color of your shape. Second step is to choose your text that you're going to have revealed. Um, it usually is something like the answer to the slide or a hint, um, something for the students to be engaged to look for, like sight words or math facts. So anything that you want your text to say that students will be revealing with the trick, um, you'll insert a text box. You can play around with the font and the size. I always make mine bold for this trick just so that it's a little easier to see. And the most important part is after typing whatever it is you want to type in the text box, you want to change your text color to be the exact same as your shape. And then drag it on top of the shape so that it disappears. Now if you want to move everything, you can select it. You'll still see that you can select it, you just can't view it. So the second thing you need for the trick is some kind of transparent clip art. Um, I create these digital pieces at shopperintegration.com, um, and I have a set of magnifying glasses that have a semi-transparent middle. Um, they're part of the writing and annotation bundle, but you can also pick up just the magnifying glasses on their own. And there are seven different ones, seven colors. So these you can just insert right onto the slide and they already are transparent, or if you have semi-transparent clip art, that'll work as well. And now when the magnifying glass is dragged over the box, the text is revealed in the box. Now I like doing a magnifying glass clip art because if you just have the circle over here, sometimes it gets sloppy and you keep accidentally clicking on the text box, so this way students will click from the bottom and kind of drag it around to see whatever's hidden. Um, one thing to note is the order of your items. The text box needs to be in front. So you would right click it and choose bring to front. The shape needs to be in back. So you would right click it, choose order, and that would be sent to back. And the magnifying glass is actually in between layers. So it's actually in between the text box and the shape in order for it to work. If the order is off, if you make these three things and you're not able to see your hidden text, guaranteed it's the order of your items on the um, on the slide. So just check that. Um, another quick tip is to always have some kind of call to action. It's just good digital design to make sure that students know what to do and to describe it exactly. So in this case, click and drag the magnifying glass over the colored rectangle to reveal the answer. And that way students now know exactly what they're supposed to do with this box. Um, another good little call to action if you're using the magnifying glass is to add um, just a little hint, click and drag from the handle, and that way students will be grabbing from down here and dragging to reveal whatever is hidden.